What's up guys, today we're going to be doing a review over the Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta figure. Alright, let's get started. Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing a review over um, uh, SH Figure Arts Gogeta from the Super Saiyan, um, Super Broly movie. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and the base form. Alright. So let's look at this base form. Anyway, so... It looks it looks nice. It as I like the detail and stuff. It's a little sharp and stuff, but it makes it more like the movie. It looks really nice. the The muscle work on it is great. How they structured the muscles. Um, the artwork on the um pants and on the shirt. I mean. Yeah, the shirt and the belt is pretty nice. You can see like a little slight tint of shade on the pants. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's there. You know, the best camera to use right now, but yeah. Um, then, of course, like the ankle parts, I like his belt. It has like a slight tint on it too for shading. Um, I don't like. I, I, this is my very first SH figure art, but what I like about these is that how they can structure their toes and stuff. I can make it where they can move around. And, yeah. Like, I've seen other reviews on this too, and I can agree with one same problem. Um, is the head tilting it down. Is when if you tilt it down too much, it starts separating. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Um, Start separating right about there. You tilt it down a little too much. Yeah. Cause then the next starts hitting it. One thing I don't like for the blue or the base is the ears. The ears look a little bit off, in my opinion at least. They look darker than the like they look too orange for me. Um the shoulder pads they're really nice and stuff. Um Seems a little odd for it to be like right just attached on the so shoulder, but it looks well. It looks really good, so yeah. The accessories that come with it, um, th they're pretty nice stuff. Uh, of course, the uh, base form hair and face, just a, a like a smirking face. Then there's like the um, palm pins for like a Kamehameha and stuff or Final Flash or whatever it is uh, which whatever move and of course a Super Saiyan blue hair to go with it I like the coloring on this too it looks really nice has a little bit of looks a little bit glossy it, I don't know if it turned out that well on the camera but um, looks a little glossy but it makes it look better that way, in my opinion. Um, and of course, we have the Super Saiyan Blue yelling face, or angry face, or prominent face. The Super Saiyan Blue uh, serious face. And the Super Saiyan Blue smirking face. I really do like the design for the faces, they look really great. They structure them. Then of course we have the, um, like the, the, I don't know how you call it, but stance, um, hands to be in stance, to be in stance, like same, uh, fighting stance and stuff. Um, then we have the, um, kind of like grabbing hand or like charging up hand or whatever you want to call it. I don't exactly know the right name for it. I apologize for that. Then we, of course, we have the figure and stuff. We have the the basic fist, of course, and the shoulder pads. They can come off. 
Cool. Um, yeah, you can see right there, they can come off. But yeah. So this is the um, accessory part of it. I will admit, how you can like pose it and stuff, it's really nice. Like, it makes it even more realistic and more like the movie. That's one good thing about it too. It can be more realistic. I also like very much about it how you can structure him, like how you can make him pose different ways such as this, as he's like kicking the air. Um kinda of reminds me of some things from Dokkan Battle when they kick and stuff. And it's pretty neat how they c you can structure it too. Oh. The only problem is the face gets a little loose after a little while or if you just don't put it on correctly. And that's what the inside of it looks like basically. Um yeah. It just attaches two little things. It's, it stays on pretty well if you push hard enough and stuff, but kinda of my fault for not pushing on well enough. But yeah. Overall, I think it's a really great character and stuff. The price for it though, um, I got it for 56 bucks with taxes and stuff. It's a nice character and all, I really enjoy like using stuff. You gotta have another character of course, I like fight against in order for it to be a little more interesting. Like to pose it against and stuff, but I'm gonna compare it to another type, uh, the Marvel Legends series. I have several characters of that. Um, I have Deadpool from the Marvel Legends series. Um, Deadpool, Deadpool, and even other Marvel Legends series characters, they can structure like Vegeta, kind of. Not, he's not as freely with the chest part uh, as the chest can rotate with Gogeta. He's a bigger character than Gogeta. Um, I don't know if it's as durable as plastic. If this, the Marvel Legends, feel a little bit lighter than the Gogeta, in my opinion. Um, but they come up with, I think they come with about the exact same accessories as, um, they both do come with the exact same accessories. Um, and both of them go in pretty good detail with the characters. But the Marvel Legends are 20 bucks and the SH figure arts are like 50. I'd probably say, if anything, that the Gogeta would be better at like 40 bucks for it. But I don't know if it's just anything different about it or anything. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say at the most 40 bucks for it. But if you want to spend 50 bucks, it's it's a pretty nice character. I really am glad I got it too. Um, yeah. And yeah. I'm, I'm hoping to get another one soon or something like that. Or maybe get the new Jiren one that's coming out of the Go Mew Goku. Ultra and Goku, um, but yeah, or even Broly. Also, by the way, if y'all are wondering what the next thing I'm probably going to try to get, this is coming out, um, January 20th of next year, from what I've seen and heard, so I'm planning on getting this new Jiren one. Um, I think it would be really cool too to review, and yeah, that's it. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not the best review you could search up and find, but I hope you all enjoyed this review on the Gogeta, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment what you thought. Peace.